Uh, hello, this is Tov from Trifle Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to address an issue that uh, I've had for a while, which is running uh, Blender 3.0 and above on a Windows 7 computer. Now, I haven't upgraded my computer at all to Windows 7. And hopefully, uh, this is recording, uh, hopefully the software is recording the audio. I've had a little bit of issues with that. Uh, but... Uh, with Windows 7, Blender stopped supporting Windows 7 uh, when it comes to using the software in Blender or 3.01 and above for Blender in Windows. The .dll files are missing, uh, but there's a solution that, let me show you what I mean. Now, I've already downloaded uh, ver both versions. Uh, this is from Blender, uh, the Blender site. You can just go to our website traffic production that goes straight to blender we've got a link on our site for the blender website click on that when you've gone to the blender website you can download the latest version of it or go to downloads and click on previous versions and navigate through their archives to find out which version of blender 3.0 and above you want to use or install on your windows 7 computer and once again this is for people who have a windows 7 comp that have not upgraded to the newest versions of windows and you can't run Blender on there. This is the way to do it. But let me show you what I mean when 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 I say it doesn't run. We're going to double click on that. Double click on that. And we're going to click on this and see what happens. Double click on Blender. And what's supposed to happen, Blender is supposed to open up like it's doing now. And then uh, the C prompt windows op opens up. And then Blender itself opens up. But apparently you can see that that didn't happen because the files that support the use of 3.0 versions of Blender and upwards aren't or don't exist in Blender at this point in time to one on Windows 7. But there is a guy named Nixal Andrew, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, who has addressed that issue and who has actually built versions of Blender as you can see from his repository, he's built the versions of Blender 3.0 and he's installed all those. I don't know if he's done it by himself, he's got a team, but he's installed all those files that are missing for support in Windows 7 in those files to run on Blender. And I've downloaded it myself. And we're going to go to the one I've downloaded. When you download it, it'll come in as a zip file, which is right here. You have to extract it, extract it from the zip file in order to run it on your machine. Now I'm going to navigate to where it is, which is right here, Windows 7. Double click on that. Double click on that. And double click on Blender, and let's see what happens. It should open up and it should work. If it takes longer than it's supposed to, I'll stop the recording and then come back to it. But apparently, okay, it opens up. The C prompt window opens up. This is excitement time. Let's give it a few minutes and there it is. It's still taking a bit of time to upload, but it should upload. Come on, fella. Because these files that are supposed to be used in Windows 7, to, oh, there it is. Yeah, so that's how you can do it. If you are running a Windows 7 computer and Blender does not open up. I'm going to leave a link, <coughs> excuse me, of his site. It's the GitHub site, but leave, leave a link of it in the description below this video so you guys can download it yourselves and use it. So if you're running a Windows 7 computer, you're trying to run Windows or Blender 3.0 and above, go to this repository and download 3.0 and above from this site so you can run it on your computers. And that's today's Blender Quick Tip. And I hope this was helpful for those of you who are watching. Thank you guys who have subscribed in the past, those of you who are subscribing now, and those of you who are subscribing in the future. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.